When we want to buy something, quite often we have to compare two or more different products. And quite often the information on those products is very different. So we need some way to compare between two different products so that we can actually make the best buy. In the example here, we've got two different types of juice. One's expressed in litres, that's juice A, and the other juice, juice B, is expressed in millilitres. Now it's probably easy to convert millilitres to litres. So always check the units, and what we'll do is we'll convert 6,500 millilitres to litres. We won't actually do anything with the cost just yet. We'll try and just make sure the units are the same first of all. So to do that, we divide 6,500 by 1,000, and what we then see is we've got two juice bottles, but now they're both in litres. If we look at the cost, they're already in dollars, so there's no need to change those. We'll leave those two amounts as $9.60, and $6.30. But if they were different, we'd have to look at making sure that they were the same units as well. The next thing to do now is to compare the base unit. Now that means have a look at the number of litres in this case and try and make the cost what it would be for one litre of each amount. So for juice A, what we need to do is divide $9.60 by 10. So $9.60 divided by 10 gives us $0.96 or 96 cents. So by dividing by 10, we get the cost for one litre of juice A. Now for juice B, to convert that to one litre, we're going to have to divide by 6.5. So $6.30 divided by 6.5, and we can do that on a calculator, gives us $0.97 or 97 cents. We can see now that the best buy would be juice A. That's slightly cheaper than juice B. In fact, one cent per litre cheaper. Now if you're comparing other quantities and you want to work out the best price or the best cost, what you need to do is to convert both of the quantities that you're looking at to the same unit. So it might be both one litre or it might be one item of each, but whatever it is you need to look at the units to make sure they're the same to get the price per one unit. Then you can make a comparison between the two different items to work out which one's cheaper. In this example we're comparing two packs of cheese. One 600 grams and the other one kilogram. See if you can determine which is the best buy. Pause here and then have a look at the solution that follows. There are several ways to consider this solution. First of all, what we'll do is we'll convert the one kilogram of cheese to grams. So one kilogram is 1,000 grams. If we divide that amount by 1,000, we now get one gram of cheese. And if we multiply it by 600, we get 600 grams of cheese. So this method is trying to compare the cheeses as if they were exactly the same mass. Now we need to do the same calculations for the money. So $5.10, that's the price per one kilogram. If we divide it by 1,000, that's the price per gram. And then if we multiply it by 600, that's the price for 600 grams. We can see here our result is $3.06. Now that's definitely cheaper than $3.75, so the one kilogram packet is the cheaper option.